where do you and uh, Shannon stand right now? You know, I think that's a very interesting question. And I think about this a lot because if anyone asks me where I stand with anyone else on the cast, I can give a definitive answer. Ask me where I am with Heather. I'll say, oh, well, we argued, but we're fine. We chat. We've gone to lunch. We talk all the time. We're good. Gina and I are tight. I talk to Tamara almost every day. But when it comes to Shannon, I feel like my friendship with her has always been somewhat of an enigma where I don't really know <laughs> where we stand. I would say... I always have the desire to be friends and to make things work with her. But I think she's difficult to be friends with. Like last year when we were filming, I thought Shannon and I were really tight. I mean, we had a little ups and downs, but we got over it quickly. But then when production ended and they were doing all their Trace Amigas shows, like Tamara called me and said... I can't invite you to the show because Shannon does not want you there. Like you are banned. She doesn't want you anywhere around. She says bad things about you. So then I, I'm like, but I thought we were friends. So I'm always questioning, are we friends or are we not friends? I love that Tamra off season stirring too. Oh yeah. Always. <laughs> right. But I really wanted to go. I thought it would be fun, but like I was literally banned. Like it's I just, had a restraining order against me. Well, so you could have gone, and that might have been interesting. I mean, yeah. May, yeah. I mean, maybe I should have just gone and sat in the front row. I just love. I'm going to be really honest with you. She doesn't want you here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's so good to me. Yeah. It's, uh, well, and then have you? So if you saw Shannon obviously at BravoCon. So yeah. this is post arrest. Right. You saw her at BravoCon, uh -huh. and then there was the awkward group dinner. That, that was very awkward. Guys help, right? I mean, it was yeah. very. It was Talk awkward. a little bit about that. Wait, which group dinner is that? I'm sorry. The Christmas when we went to Joey's. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, it was awkward. Yeah. So all the ladies <laughs> got together, and what yeah. happened? Well, first of all, you have to give Heather credit for always trying to bring everyone together. I love that she always does that. No matter where we're at, no matter who doesn't like who, she will just extend the invitation to everyone. I didn't even know if Shannon was going to show up because she never responds on the group text. She's the only one that like literally will not reply on a group text. I think she texted Heather separately and said she first, I think she said she couldn't go because she was moving or something. <laughs> and then I think she realized that it probably wasn't a good she idea had to go. that yeah. she had to go because everybody else was going. So we get there and it's Tamara, Heather or Tamara, me and Tamara next to each other. And then Heather and Gina next to each other. And then Shannon shows up late and she's seated right next to Gina, which is awkward. I was just laughing the whole night because I was across from both of them. And they're just sitting next to each other and they're not talking to See, each other. People think we produce it. This is what happens. No, I mean, it was really <laughs> awkward. And then Jen shows up late, which I don't understand, but she showed up late and she sits at the end of the table with Taylor. But yeah, I felt like there was just a lot of conversation between Heather, Tamara, Gina, and me. And then the, the other end of the table, it was kind of awkward. So funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People always ask me, like, if I run into someone in public and they say, oh, is it scripted? Is it real? I'm like, yeah, those ladies are crazy. It really is like that. <laughs> yeah. It's so, yeah. so funny. It's the number one question. <laughs> right? yeah. It's like, we can't make it's this far, shit no, up. Right, far from yeah. it. Yeah. It's so, yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. And so everyone brought gifts, except I didn't bring a gift and Gina didn't bring a gift. So I was like, I'll pay for dinner. So Gina and I, we went and found the waiter and paid for dinner for everyone. So then Shannon was like, oh, thanks a lot. You paid for dinner because she didn't bring a gift either. So she's like, I'm the only person that didn't bring a gift. And I'm like, that's on you, lady. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's your fault. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could have. Yeah. Oh, my God. That is so funny. What is it like, Shane, with the other husbands? Is there like a little bit of a fraternity almost where you guys appreciate the fact that, you know, you're on this journey with the women? I think like, like when we're all filming together, yeah. I think the guys... I mean, I don't want to speak for the other men, yeah. but I think we typically step to the side, kind of make side jokes about, you know, yeah. filming and the women and stuff. But we, I think we all know that at the end of the day, the ladies are, you know, they have relationships and they're pretty friendly and, you know, yeah. no one's going to kill each other and stuff like that. So we just kind of <laughs> all know that we're the support system. And it's, so it's always funny during parties to see the guys step aside yeah the seat, kind of yeah. like the guys congregating yeah. and yeah. watching the women get animated yeah. yeah well i love the cast now and i think it's such a strong cast also because of the men because yeah. i like shane and terry together yeah. they're funny and and i like eddie eddie's such a solid guy i think shane and eddie are really similar in that they just kind of step back they're good husbands they're supportive they just like let, you know eddie lets Tamara just be Tamara. And Shane just lets me be me. And, you know, I, I, I like the men now. I think it's good. It's good. It's a good group. I, yeah. It's a good mix. And they all are supportive. They're solid. Right. So, you know, it's not always been the case. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. Yeah. 
That's an interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leading into this season, yeah, that's, that's interesting. I don't know who we're talking about. I was just talking <laughs> about. I was talking about Johnny J, but. <laughs> oh well, uh, you know, yeah, well, <laughs> Johnny J. Well, you are somewhat in the middle of that, right? Because Alexis is. Yes, I it, actually it's stressing me out because I have been friends with Alexis for years. And she seems to be very, very into this relationship, yeah. which is good for her. I mean, I want her to be happy. She's my friend. I mean, it's burden jewelry territory. Yes. But then it's very difficult to, I, I don't know, because, you know, we all have this feeling. Well, or, I, I or, think, I th sorry, if I, I think I know where you're going. You're saying if you go and you all sit down for, for dinner or something, you know his history with your friend Shannon. Right. And so that's where you're going to pick up. And it's kind of hard for you to sit down and just pretend like none of that drama happened. It wasn't like they just dated a little bit and then right. they, they broke up and it was mutual. It's like there's a lot of history there. And how can you just unsee that or un pretend, yes. you know, pretend that that didn't happen? Right. And you're going to want to run across the table and <laughs> shout well, it out. And yeah. Well, I mean, that's what's difficult is, you know, we all have this perception of John that we've had. And I've known him for three years now. I, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. It's very interesting. Well, on the other hand, that's all out there. So it also isn't like you have to tell Alexis that. Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah, yeah. good point. Yeah. But do you think that Alexis owes Shannon anything? No. And see, that's where I think people don't understand that Shannon and Alexis don't know each other mm -hmm. and they're not friends and they never film the show together. So as far as I'm concerned, it's not like Alexis broke any kind of girl code or anything. It's completely it's that part isn't doesn't play into the relationship. So I don't think Alexis owes Shannon anything. I don't think she owes her an apology. I don't even think she owes her a conversation. I mean, she just you know, I don't know exactly how they met. I mean, I assume it was at the quiet woman and through mutual friends. And then it just I mean, went, how else does anyone mean? I mean, yeah. <laughs> and then it just went from there. And so I don't know. I just know, you know, we had this perception of John for three years. Yeah. And I think we were all concerned for Shannon because it felt like he was an opportunist. And now he's with Alexis and he's buying her jewelry. And I just, you know, I don't know. But I, I feel like I can't say anything because I don't want, as her friend, yeah. I want, I don't know. I See, well, it's you, all you clouded you, in my head. I don't you even can't know. I'm going to have to write out bullet points before I have dinner with her. I don't you know. You can't meet with Alexis and bring up stuff that doesn't concern her, like your past with John. Like, that doesn't, that's not a place. You have to let, Alexis and John's relationship has to be their relationship from that point going forward. You can't bring up some past. Okay. <laughs> You will, but you, you just, shouldn't. You just wiped out everything I was going to say. All right. I'm going to have to keep my mouth shut. Well, and again, it's public. So it isn't like it's informing her of something that she wouldn't know on her own. I mean, that's, she can, you know, and she'll experience whatever she does with him. Yeah. Look at her at one. That's true. Yeah. And I do realize that someone can be in a relationship that's a bad relationship on both sides. And it can just be a bad relationship and it can be toxic. And then someone can be in a relationship with someone else and it can be good and happy. It takes two to have a bad relationship, I would say. So... So I think right now you're trying to be team neutral. I'm trying to be team neutral, but you know how that goes. So. <laughs> Head over to bravotv.com slash podcast to catch us clearing up some of the biggest reality TV production rumors and having a little fun along the way.